And after three days in a row with some clouds and chilly temperatures, we finally wound up with some sunshine today. The temperatures climbed into the 60s. We made it up to 64 this afternoon. That's one degree above average. The average high, 63, 85, the record high set back just a few years ago back in 2011. Here's the weather setup. We've got high pressure off to our west, and that's keeping things quiet, but it's also pumping in some chilly air from the north. Temperatures are in the 50s up at State College, and we're setting up for kind of a chilly night tonight. As a matter of fact, there might be even be a little bit of frost. So for those of you that maybe put plants out a little bit earlier than you should have, you might want to cover them up tonight just in case the temperatures drop into the low to mid-30s in your neighborhood, which is certainly possible north and west of Baltimore. But a clear sky tonight and calm winds eventually, and a dry air mass is going to add to those uh, chilly temperatures in the morning. But the winds are still kicking up pretty good right now. We need these to drop off. If you want the temperatures to drop fast, you got to get the winds to drop off. Still out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So as soon as that happens after sunset, the temperatures will drop fast. So if you're going to be out on this Saturday evening, take a light jacket with you at least. It's 62 at the airport right now, 61 in Westminster, 60 in rising sun. So fairly comfortable at the present time, but it'll drop into the 40s pretty quickly over the next few hours. So frost advisories are in effect for the northern and western suburbs. And the blue shading here includes Frederick, Carroll, Baltimore, and the northern part of Hartford County as well. Temperatures will likely drop into the mid-30s, but I think it's going to stay above freezing, so you don't have to worry about freezing conditions for the plants. Just get out there and cover them up. Uh, the weather should stay pretty quiet over the next couple of days and mild, even after a chilly start tomorrow morning. We could track the mild air using the upper air pattern here. This is tomorrow. You see a little ridge in the jet stream here. On Tuesday, there'll be a storm system dropping down out of the Great Lakes. That's going to give us a chance for some rain, but it's going to stay mild. The temperatures will be in the 60s. I'm going to take the time frame into Thursday. You see the ridge come back on the East Coast, and anytime you see that, it's good news. It means mild temperatures and quiet conditions. Mostly clear tonight, chilly, but uh, not too bad. We're not going to break any records or anything, but there could be some frost. Temperatures dropping into the 30s. During the day tomorrow, another nice one. Mixture of sunshine and a few clouds. The high temperatures after that chilly start will make it into the mid to upper 60s. A few degrees above average again. Seven day forecast, we're going to turn up the heat a little more on Monday. Sunshine with a high near 71. Rain comes in on Tuesday with a high near 68. And then it clears up Wednesday, Thursday with high temperatures in the 60s.